Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. My name is David, former paramedic and owner of Heaven Can Wait. Big Jimmy over here. Now, today, you will know, you will learn how to save your life if you choke and you're by yourself. Very important information. We're gonna teach you how to save your life. Please pass this information on to your kids and other family members. Huge fear of everyone. What do I do if I choke? Especially from by myself. We're gonna help you today. Before we start, We'd like to thank all of our new subscribers. If you haven't subscribed, please do so. It makes us feel that we're doing a good service for everybody, that you're learning a lot of good information while adding in some humor. These are really tough times right now, so bear with us. We're still learning, but we're really enjoying the time and we're really enjoying you guys out there, so thank you. Now, you might be asking yourself, why am I wearing swimming goggles in a home and also the swimming cap? Before I answer that, question. How long does an average adult have before they drop unconscious if their windpipe is completely obstructed by a piece of steak, a bagel, tofu, etc.? How long? However long each one of you personally can hold your breath underwater is how long you have before you drop unconscious if your windpipe is fully obstructed. We will help you today. Are you kidding me? Are you kidding me, Jimmy? You're sticking pens in your mouth and we're talking about choking. Very disappointed. Unbelievable. Nice bling you have here. I can see what you're spending your allowance on. That's nuts. Now, with respect to choking, there are two classifications. There's a partially obstructed windpipe emergency and a fully obstructed windpipe emergency. You just need to know how to recognize signs and symptoms and how to fix it. Question, what are some signs and symptoms of a partially obstructed airway? Can you answer that? You can still cough and breathe. The universal sign for choking, some people do this. Eyes bugging out, you might hear a wheezing sound, face red. What do you do if you're choking, partially obstructed? What does your body naturally do, instinctually do? You cough. If you're by yourself or anywhere and you're partially obstructed and you're choking, cough violently, cough viciously. Alert people around you. Now again, if you're at home, focus on your coughing. It's when you become fully obstructed that, you, there's the nose thing again. It's when you become fully obstructed, you need to know what to do immediately. How do you recognize it? Signs and symptoms. Can't speak, can't cough, extreme distress and panic. You may also hear a high pitched whistling sound. Here's what I recommend. And again, however long each one of you can personally hold your breath underwater, that's how long you have before you drop. Here's what you're gonna do. Dial 911 immediately. I really advise you to do that. Put the phone on speaker. You won't be able to speak understandably. However, the 911 call taker will still send emergency services. If you can, get outside so somebody can find you. Here are a couple of tricks, okay? So watch these. If any of you guys and gals have other ideas, please send it into the comments section. I'm gonna stand up right now. I'm gonna try to keep my head on the screen here. This is a chair. We've all seen chairs before. You could take a chair and use the back of the chair. And I'm gonna place this right above my navel. Oof, 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 oof. I actually drove that up into my diaphragm at a 45 degree angle. The sound you hear is the diaphragm smashing into my lungs to eject an object. This is mimicking the Heimlich maneuver. Now, these are other objects that people may have at home. A water bottle, watch this, above your navel. Oof, 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 oof. I'm not doing that on purpose. The bottle is making my cheeks, the air is coming up. What else we got at home? Oh, frying pan, right here, watch this. Oof, oof, oof. Oh my gosh. Everyone has this. These are the books you place on your coffee table that no one ever reads. You know they never read them. This rigid book, oof, oof, oof. that works. Fine china, no. Okay, what else can you do? In a, on a chair, you can also drop yourself above your navel on the top of a chair. A lot of people will go into the side of a table as well. Drop your abdomen just above the navel, maybe onto a banister, okay? Now I'm gonna sit down so you can see me. There I am. Recap, choking you by yourself. Dial 911, open and or unlock the front door. Hopefully somebody can find you. And as you're walking outside, you can take an object and try to remedy the choking while you're by yourself. Use objects. Where do people eat in their homes? I don't know. Some in the, uh, the rec room, some in the living room, in the kitchen, have items around the house that you know you can gather immediately if you choke and you're by yourself. That's really important. Now, if you're pregnant, you can't access your diaphragm for obvious reasons. 
You're going to have to go through the chest wall if you're choking you're by yourself. So be aware of that. Have things around you that you will need. Now, in the next video, we can go in more in depth into choking. We can also teach you what to do if you choke and you're in your car. But this stuff's very important. I always recommend going to the hospital after you've done the procedures of Heimlich maneuver, which is also called the, so Heimlich maneuver, which is also called abdominal thrust or doing the chest thrust. There could be some damage. You need to be seen at the hospital, okay? Now, it's interesting, great story. There's a woman on our website. We'll put the link. Uh, her name is, we're not gonna mention her name actually. Her name's Judy, great woman. She saved her daughter's life while choking. Her information is right on our website. We'll put the link there. We're also gonna put the link of the signs and symptoms um, and how to remedy choking in the description section. For kids, a lot of kids, they need to be trained, they need to be educated on how to save themselves if they choke them and they're alone, and of course their family. Kids are playing really silly games now. There's something called the chubby bunny. You stick as many marshmallows in your mouth as you can at once until you can't say the chubby bunny anymore. Choking hazard, that can cause death. Swallowing dry cinnamon. Kids and other people, I don't know why, they're eating those Tide Pod detergents. Don't do that, that's absolutely ridiculous, okay? To recap this video, and again, I'm not angry. A lot of people say, Dave, are you angry? No, I'm extremely passionate about specific topics and helping people in first aid. I do take these very seriously, okay? And again, if you have any questions, feel free to write in. Quick recap, then we're done. You can go have your, whatever you're gonna eat for dinner or whenever you're watching this breakfast, etc. Recognition. Partial obstruction, full obstruction. Check the descriptions page, okay? Everything's gonna be in there. Cough viciously and violently if you're partially obstructed. Full obstruction, know how to remedy yourself with a chair or a specific object that I outlined. If anyone else has any other ideas or great suggestions, my goodness, please write them into the comments section, okay? If you wanna see more on choking, let us know, write in, please subscribe. Thank you again for social distancing. Keep safe. We look forward to hearing from you soon and seeing you guys.